guys, and welcome to another episode of the Stitch Sessions. This is a little bonus video that I thought I would throw in there, something cute and quick. And uh, in honor of St. Patty's Day coming up, I thought we would make this really adorable little shamrock four-leaf clover um, applique. And you can put this maybe as an add-on to a cute little hat, or sometimes just even something like a lapel of a sweater, or you can add this onto a sweet baby blanket. It would look really nice if you've got any March babies out there. And it does not take very long to make, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here are the materials you're gonna need. Uh, as always, I have a pair of scissors on hand and a darning needle for sewing in my ends. And for this particular project, I use some crochet thread. So I'm getting into using uh, a little bit more of the thinner yarns, especially as we're getting into warmer weather, I can't wait. And what I used here is Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. And this is a 100% mercerized cotton. The beautiful thing about this type of cotton, as opposed to like um, a Bernat handicrafter cotton, is that mercerized kind of prevents it from overstretching, okay? And it is a size three. And they do recommend, so it's a super fine number one weight yarn, and they do recommend anywhere from a 3.5 to a 3.75 millimeter hook. And in fact, the hook I am using is indeed a 3.75 millimeter hook. As you can see right there, also known as an F or a size five. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so to begin our little clover, we are going to begin by placing a slip knot onto our hook. And you can do this in whatever method works for you, but that one is the one that works for me, okay? And um, actually, that is incorrect. To begin, we are going to use a cinch circle to start this project. So you're gonna yarn over I'm gonna loop the yarn over two fingers. This is how I do it, okay? So that I have the working yarn looping up in front over the short tail. Then what I do is I pick up my hook and just sneak it in between my two fingers there and I pull a loop up, okay? Now working with cinch circles at the beginning can be testy. This is why I, I understand some people don't like it. Um, but with practice, like anything, it just becomes, you know, fairly easy as you go along. So I've pulled up a loop and then what I do is I just sneak out my middle finger there. Notice I'm still keeping my working yarn pulled back. See that? And then I trap it in here so I can chain one to secure my cinch circle. And I just, it was extra wonky because I was doing it slow to show you guys, but uh, and it can get very testy for newer crocheters, but I promise you, if you persevere and practice, you will love using the cinch circle because especially when you're creating things like flowers or even granny squares, actually, see how nicely it cinches in in the center? That's why I like using cinch circles a lot. But anyway, I digress. So then I just make sure that my tail there, which is what I'm gonna use to cinch it shut, just kind of gets pulled off to the side. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start making the petals of our clover. So what we're gonna do is we are going to chain four. Two, three, four. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our hook into the circle. We're gonna pull up a loop and then we're gonna single crochet. So we're using a single crochet to secure our chain four, so I'm just gonna try and open this up here. So our chain four, there we go. See how it creates a little bit of a circle there? It's a tight circle, but it will make, there we go, that's it. There's a circle there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain four again. One, two, three, and four, okay? Now, into the cinch circle, you're gonna do another single crochet. 
See, so it's just creating these little mini loops here. So we have one and we have two. We need to do this four times, okay? So we're gonna chain four again. One, two, three, and four. Insert your hook into the circle, single crochet. Now notice I'm, I'm holding the bottom of that circle down. It's gonna be a little bit testy, but I promise you once you get through this phase, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So we've done, see now you can see your petals really taking shape. We're gonna do that one more time. One, two, three, and four. And now you're gonna insert into the circle, pull up a loop, to do a single crochet. So these single crochets are what anchoring are what are anchoring down our petals. See that? Super cute. And here's the fun part for me. Now we're going to find our little tail here and we're going to pull on that tail to cinch our circle shut. Whoops. And you can pull nice and tight. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now you've got your four petals. Now you've got this loop here. So what we're going to do Hopefully you guys can see that this is thinner thinner thread I'm working with. There we go. Hopefully you can see that nicely. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go inside the space of that first petal and I'm going to slip stitch over. So I'm just going to keep my tail out of the way there. So I am going to slip stitch so that now I'm it kind of closes it off. Okay, and now I'm going to start working my first petal. Okay, so if I just put this down. So what we've done is we've created these spaces and I know the space there doesn't look as big as this yet, but it will. So now I've slip stitched into the center of one of them and now we're gonna create the, the edge of our first petal. Okay, so so once I've slip stitched in there, I now want to chain two one and two. And now I'm gonna to proceed to double crochet three more times into that space there. See right there? So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull through. I'll pull through the first two and then I'll pull through the second two. So we're doing double crochet stitches. If you're a super beginner, you can do this. You just have to take your time. So I'm gonna yarn over to pull through two and pull through two. So that's my second one. I'm gonna do a third one. Just like that, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chain two, one, two, and I'm gonna slip stitch back into this space here. And what that does, just like that, okay? Just gonna pull up so you guys can see. So what that does is it just kind of now solidified the shape. See that? Okay, so that's our first petal there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and work into the next petal. And then you'll really see it starting to take shape. But you'll see too that this is super quick, so you can make uh, quite a few of these if you like. Okay, so let's go into the next petal. So in order to go into the next petal, what we're gonna do is we're going to slip stitch over into that next space. Okay, just like that. Oops, I lost my ear in there. Okay, so once I'm into the next space, I'm now gonna chain two. So each petal has a chain two, three double crochets, and a chain two. And that's what gives it its shape. So now you can see this space is much more pronounced. So I'm gonna single, uh, sorry, I'm going to double crochet three times into the space. There's one. There's two, and there's three. Okay, and then we'll chain two, one and two, and slip stitch to close off our petal. Okay, 
Okay, again, I'd like to pull out so we can see where we're at. Just like that, isn't that sweet? And then don't be afraid if you need to pull on that on that little tail there just to keep the center cinched shut. Beautiful. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. So go ahead and finish these two here into the spaces. So you're going to slip stitch over into the next space, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, and slip stitch. Then slip stitch into the next space, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, slip stitch into that same space. Once you finish your four petals, I'm gonna meet up with you there, and we're gonna do that cute little stem, and we are done. Okay guys, so I've done my four petals there. See how much it takes shape? Super cute. Okay, so I've slip stitched into my last space there, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip stitch into the very first stitch that I did coming out of the, the first single crochet out of the cinch circle right there. Or easiest thing to do is just find a space that looks good. So I don't wanna go into the next petal. I actually wanna nestle right into the, there, just in between the petals, and I'm gonna slip stitch just to kind of get me out of the petal there. Okay, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this, so you can see your V's here in the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but the second one, and I've tightened that first one more than I should have. I wanna do a slip stitch. So I'm gonna to have to help this along. I'm just gonna slip stitch and slip stitch. So just, just going to kind of solidify our little stem here. I'm just gonna help it along and slip stitch. So in the end, you will have five stitches, even though we chained six. Okay. I'm gonna slip stitch. And I've got one more right up here. Ooh, there we go. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four. Whoop, I've got one more nestled in there. So it's gonna be right here. So it's gotten a little bit tight, so I'm gonna have to just help it along. Sometimes what I do is I get a darning needle and I just kind of loosen it up a little bit. There we go. These are my special methods. There we go. And then we're just gonna slip stitch. I'm just gonna pull that up there. So now you should be able to see that we've created, so if I turn that over, see how it solidifies the, um, the stem there. There we have it, guys, our cute and adorable little four leaf clover. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to snip my yarn here. Now, how long you leave your tail depends on what you're gonna do with it. So if you want your tail to help you sew it into something, maybe leave it a little bit longer. Um, okay, now at the end here, actually what I am gonna do is I am now gonna just do one more slip stitch right into that space where we started. I'm gonna pull up a loop. And I'm just going to slip stitch and pull it right up, okay? And what's beautiful is it's close to where that cinch circle is. So now we're facing the back here. So I'm gonna pull that cinch circle tight one more time and then I am just gonna give these a little knot and they're both gonna be nicely secured. <laughs> there we go. Dun-dun-na-na. 
Isn't that sweet? Sweet little four-leaf clover. Super cute. This is great for, you know, putting on um, a little add-on to any child's outfit or child crochet project or even for yourself, something sweet in a little lapel. You can put this on a pin um, and you can, you can embellish it. You can, you know, glue on some rhinestones there. You can make the petal a little bit taller if you like. And actually, you can either do a round of single crochets, now that I'm here, just to kind of embellish it a bit more, or you can use actual um, medium four-weight yarn. So, of course, the heavier the yarn weight, the bigger your project is going to be. Now, in this case here, which I didn't realize till much later, um, you can see it's a little bit bigger. And in fact, what I did with this one is instead of double crochets, I used triple crochet stitches, so it just sits a little bit taller. And um, it's much more noticeable because, of course, I'm using the crochet thread. But I just think that those, those two are just super sweet. I just love it. And it's so festive and so cute and really quick to make. So you can use whatever yarn you prefer. Um, you can use the size hook that you like. You can do it using double crochet stitches, which I think are the easiest for most um, newer crocheters because they're the basic stitches most of us all know. And if you care to venture into using triple crochet stitches to make your petals a little bit longer, by all means, go ahead and do that. And we do have a triple crochet tutorial uh, that we have done and I'll just link that in um, the description box down below. But I hope you guys have enjoyed doing this cute quick little project with me today. I do so enjoy having you guys come along and share my crochet journey with me. And if you haven't already done so, you should really subscribe. If you like um, seeing these tutorials and jumping into different projects every week, I upload every Wednesday morning. And uh, I'm always so excited to chat with you and answer any questions you may have. You can also check us out on our website at www crochetcrafty.com. I now have a monthly newsletter and I'll also leave that link in the description box down below. And I adore it when you guys pop in and say hello. So you can do that on Instagram and you can find me at the Stitch Sessions. And also I super love it when you create some of my projects and tag me on Instagram. I really, really do love that. So come on by, say hi, have an amazing time doing some of these projects. I hope you have a wonderful um, St. Patrick's Day. And as always, have a wonderful day. Happy crocheting and take great care, everyone. Mm -hmm.